Hello YouTube, I am back. Um, I apologize, I was a bit delayed uploading a new video. As you can tell, I'm a bit under the weather. This is my second video here on the channel. Um, if you're watching this, a huge thank you. So I'm making a video, yay! Today I'm actually going to rant about social media. Um, this has probably been done a thousand times before. Um, I just need to get it out there because there's so much thing on social media that I see that you do not do. I know I'm no social media god or anything, or maybe I am. End of story, there's things you don't do on social media that people do that drive me bonkers. So I like to thank my social media friends for giving me this opportunity to get little notes and what you don't do on social media. Don't be mad at me. I've actually done some of these myself in the past. Um, so some of these are for myself. Others, just gonna be honest, are you guys. You guys that are on my friends pages on my media that are posting stuff that I see and kind of annoy me. So let's get started! The biggest thing um, that's driving me nuts when I moved from Newfoundland to Alberta, I am still getting invited to events that are happening in Newfoundland. I do not live there anymore, people. I cannot go to the club Saturday night with a certain DJ, nor do I care. You still invite me to these events that I clearly cannot go to, so stop, please stop. So my second biggest pet peeve is, um, social media is great for like reaching out to people, connecting with others, but there's also a point where you need to stop posting so much personal. For myself in the past, obviously I've done this, but I realized it's not the best thing to do. Yeah, I like going on social media just because it's entertaining, it's funny for the most part, but some stuff are meant for your personal life only. Don't get the whole Facebook 510 of your friends involved on this whole personal thing. Um, especially if someone is like, Oh, this person, uh, I'm so mad. I can't believe this person done this this weekend. Ugh, best friends are not my best friends. Then you have all of your friends commenting on that post, and then you're like, Oh, stay out of my business. Like, I've seen that so many times. You're posting something in your social media, people are responding, you're getting mad at them, you're telling them to stay in your business, but you're making your business theirs, kind of, in a way. Not really, but you're bringing other people into your business. But anyway, long story short, do not post personal stuff on Facebook. Keep it to yourself. Yeah! My third biggest pet peeve is, um, when you go on Facebook and find out something through Facebook that someone could easily call you or text you. Yeah, that's happened so many times. Like, if a friend's pregnant, if someone's in the hospital, if someone got in a car accident, if someone adopted a draft, if someone went to Africa and now has a bunch of African babies. That's inappropriate. But anyway, what I'm getting at is, I kind of miss the old days in a sense when people used to pick up the phone and be like, Hey, I just adopted a giraffe from Africa. Oh, cool. When did you do that? Oh, yesterday. I just wanted to tell you. Thanks for the phone call about adopting a giraffe in Africa. If you have something big that happens in your life, positive or negative, reach out to the people that are close to you, not your <laughs> Facebook friends just blabbering on Facebook. That pesses me off. Don't do it. My fourth, fifth, fourth, fourth, um, is when people complain about a certain person, we all know who that person is, but they don't say their name. I'm not gonna go too in depth with this, but just don't do it. Like it's, you're not in grade school anymore. Like we all know who you're talking about. The person knows probably that you're talking about them and just stop. Stop, 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 stop. Stop. My fifth one is, I know this person is going to realize I'm talking with them. Oh my God, I'm just doing it. So I'm laughing because I'm telling people don't post stuff about people on Facebook without saying their name, but realizing it's them. But now I'm talking about something that someone does on Facebook without saying their name, but they will know it's them. But it's not a bad thing, so. Anyway, wow, I'm contradicting my list. So, don't post embarrassing photos of your friends on Facebook. I have this particular friend that loves to take photos at parties. <laughs> I'm sorry, you know, she's gonna watch this and knows I can talk about her. So, what does she do at parties? Oh, she doesn't go through the photos to delete them. She uploads all the photos from the party. Whether they're good, they're bad, of their floor, of the ceiling, or of nothing. She doesn't go through the photos to delete them. I pick up the better ones, she uploads them all. You know what? It's actually, it entertains me because there's so many bad photos, but you should probably go through them and delete the bad ones. Yeah. I'm sorry, I love you. Ah. My sixth 
My six, I don't know, what point am I at? Posting something on Facebook or social media and then regretting it later. Um, I've seen this so many times. Uh, celebrities do it all the time. They get angry, they rant, they say stupid stuff that they shouldn't be saying, and they try to take it back. But the biggest thing about social media, whatever you post on social media, it's out there. It's gonna save, there's websites that save stuff from social media. Yes, it happens, it's weird, but um, you can't get rid of it. Once it's out there, you can't delete it, even if you delete it. If you're going to post something to social media, just kind of wait to simmer down a bit. <laughs> simmer down, weird word. Just wait to calm down, so that way you're not making any people kind of angry or upset in your posting, so. Uh, my seventh biggest pet peeve is, so my camera just shut up randomly. Thank you, but thankfully, Everything is safe. When people sell stuff on Facebook, like some people sell everything and anything, like this person is selling a spoon for 50 cents, and this person is selling an empty CD case for a dollar. This person is selling a used diaper for $20. People sell really weird shit online. I don't know why. Like, if you're. Okay, let's get real. If you're really hard up on that you need 50 cents for like a fork or a spoon, get a job. You're wasting so much of your time. Like to be honest, if someone actually buys a fork or a spoon for 50 cents, I don't know. I don't know. This, it just boggles my mind. Cause I've seen so much weird stuff getting sold online. Like can you imagine driving like 20 minutes or even 50 minutes to buy a 50 cent fork? Like that doesn't make sense. Like you're wasting more money in gas than you are in buying the fork. Anyway, this rant is weird. If you sell stuff online, just, just sell something legit stuff. Oh, I'm going to sell this globe online for like $10. Or, I'm gonna sell this fake tree online, because it's a really nice tree. Oh, I'm gonna sell this used ginger minge ticket online for a dollar, because I need money. No, you don't do that. You just don't do it. Another thing that drives me bonkers, I think it's the eighth one now. We all do it, I still do it. So this kind of goes for everyone in the world. So if a big event happens in your life, for instance, um, if you have a baby is a prime example. A lot of people's first reactions is to actually go online and post a photo of that baby, like literally out of the hoo-ha onto the table, snap a photo. Yay, my baby's here. My phone is there. Don't, just don't. So the biggest thing, like, obviously, I know you're excited for your baby, everyone's excited. Hey, I'll be excited if you have a baby. But um, just keep it to yourself. Just, it's like such a personal moment. Like that is a huge step in your life to have a kid. And then all of a sudden you just kind of ruin it by posting it on social media. Taking the moment because who knows, you might not have another kid, you might have more kids, but your first kid is always the biggest one, honestly. So I've actually been trying not to do this a lot, um, which I'm I'm actually getting fairly good at it. Like for myself is, I, I don't post a lot on social media, personal stuff. Um, I used to when I was like 20, 21, but now I'm older and more mature. <laughs> I'm not mature, but I'm older, wiser. <laughs> I'm not wiser either. I am older. Yeah, I'm older. So for myself, I'm not going to post. I don't know why I'm pointing. <laughs> Thank you all for watching my second video. Um, I'm gonna keep them out weekly. So I want to do something a bit different today. I want to do something different today. I'm gonna talk about my coming out story for my next video, uh, just because it's a Fun story, yay! No, not really, but it'll be fun. So anyway, I'm going to go now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to this beautiful face. You subscribed yet? Don't blame ya.